Hey guys, and welcome back! I'm Simon bringing you another Eldritch Moon spoiler! So far in the realm of spoiled cards, we've seen an old threat and a few new faces, but none that I would really consider strictly Innistradian. It wouldn't even seem we were on Innistrad anymore. Luckily, we're not left with this feeling as we finally discover some characters iconic to both the plane and the developing storyline of the set. We missed her in Shadows over Innistrad, but she finally makes her appearance here in Eldritch Moon. Let me introduce you to Thalia, Cathar Heretic. This time around, the Guardian of Thraben's card is a 3-2 legendary human soldier for two generic and a single white. She has First Strike and creatures and non-basic lands your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. It looks like Thalia has been working out lately, coming into Eldritch Moon with one more power and toughness than her original printing in the first Innistrad block. But that's not the only difference between her two cards. While Thalia, Cathar Heretic, and Guardian of Thraben both have First Strike and disrupt your opponent's turns, they go about it in very different ways. Guardian of Thraben straight up made your opponent's non-creature spells cost an additional mana, amazing for preventing some combat tricks and messing with the flow of control decks. Cathar Heretic, on the other hand, is more concerned about your opponent's creatures than spells, but still messes with their ability to cast non-creature spells all the same. Their creatures coming into play tapped is of course a big deal when you may be playing a rush deck, maybe humans. Your opponents won't be able to mount a quick enough defense because all their creatures won't be able to block the turn they're summoned. This is especially good against cards with flash or even madness. Your opponents won't be able to instant out some threat to block your little guys, they'll all be tapped as well. Though this isn't all Thalia Cathar Heretic is good for. The fact that she also taps non-basic lands as they come into play is important as well. When before she made every non-creature spell cost one more, she now could potentially make everything take an extra turn to cast. If your opponent is playing on curve and Thalia is out on turn 3, if she's not dealt with, it could take a while for them to mount a formidable answer. Of course, it isn't strictly better than her old printing. Eventually your opponent could get enough mana that a non-basic land coming into play tap doesn't really matter, while Guardian of Thraben would still be able to bump up their spell cost. Obviously, if she tapped basic lands, she'd be the most OP card ever printed. But still, non-basics are run all the time. This just means she's probably a little worse for limited play. But honestly, looking at these cards side by side, I actually prefer Thalia Cathar Heretic. For one more mana, you get a stronger first striker who can deal with a lot of early drops, all while tapping their possible blockers and potentially slowing down their turns. I'd run her in White Weenie or a Human deck any day. I'd also say this card could have some impact on the modern scene. Having non-basic lands come into play tapped could disrupt a lot of decks out there. I could be wrong, but I also wouldn't be surprised to see Thalia Cathar Heretic run or at least sideboard in some modern decks. Okay, flavor time. Look guys, I love Thalia. I think she's an awesome female character both in the original block and with her new story. She's strong, willful, and brutally honest. If you guys don't know, she's left the Church of Avacyn, who's become corrupted from the inside by a cult of demon worshippers, lending her the name Cathar Heretic. Her and Audric have left the church in order to continue serving and protecting Innistrad, even if that means protecting the innocent from angels seeking to do them harm. These two Cathars aren't alone, mind you. They're joined by the ghostly guardian Saint Traft forming the Order of St. Traft. I really hope we see a new Traft card in Eldritch Moon. It would just be so perfect to go along with a new Thalia. Their story still needs a lot more information, and I hope we get it soon. But until then, we can still discuss her new card. So go ahead, let me know what you think about Thalia Cathar Heretic in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, throw it a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest Eldritch Moon spoilers, news, and lore. Support the channel by visiting my Patreon page and following me on social media. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.